Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Keith, and I'm your host. Today, we'll cover how to change the direction of your DC motor. This video is for industrial maintenance technicians or anyone who wants to change the direction of their DC motor. Quick safety note, it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses and steel toes when working with motors. And most importantly, I have the power supplied to the motor shut off while I'm working on the motor. So let's cover some basic operating principles of DC motors, and then we'll cover reversing the direction of the motor. When an electric current is passed through the magnetic field, a magnetic force is produced. In the case of brushed DC motors, the magnetic field is created in the permanent magnets. The current will be passed through the field by the armature. The carbon brushes make contact with commutator sections on the armature, passing the electric current through to the windings. The magnetic force created is applied to the armature, producing the torque that spins the motor shaft. Now, the question is, can you change the direction of the spinning force? Yes, yes you can. It's as simple as changing the polarity of the voltage applied to the motor. We'll show you how to do that shortly, but first, let's cover why you would wanna change the direction of the DC motor. Applications where a motor must be able to spin both forwards and backwards are pretty common. For example, the same motor that opens a garage door must be able to close it. A dishwasher pump must move the same water it pumped in at the beginning of the cycle, back out again at the end of the cycle. Many ventilation fans must be able to both move air into and out of buildings. Reversing the polarity of the magnetic field can also be used to slow down or stop the motor quickly when you don't have a brake installed. Today, we'll cover two ways to change the direction of your DC motor. Let's look at manual control first. Step one, read the motor's data sheet to identify the direction of the motor from factory and find the circuit drawings to find which terminals are positive and which are negative. You can locate your data sheet on emotorsdirect.ca by typing your catalog number into the search bar. Once on the product page, click Downloads, and you'll see the data pack, manual, and other downloads. Step two, attach one lead to the positive terminal and one lead to the negative terminal. Step three, attach the negative lead to the negative terminal of the power supply and the positive lead to the positive terminal. You can see that the motor shaft is spinning clockwise. Step four, remove the leads from the terminals of the power supply and wait for the motor to stop. Step five, attach the positive lead to the negative terminal of the power supply and the negative lead to the positive terminal. You can see the motor is now spinning counterclockwise. You can further simplify the operation of your DC motor by using a DC drive. Many drive options allow you to control both the direction and speed of your motor. For your application, you likely don't want to be switching leads every time you want to change the direction of your motor. A much simpler way to achieve the same end is to install a reversing switch into your DC drive. Step one, read instructions that come with your forward and reverse switch and look over drawings to ensure you hook up the correct leads. Again, visit emotorsdirect.ca to find your KB Electronics data pack. Step two, attach the leads to the appropriate terminals in the drive. You can now test your switch. Make sure you allow your motor to come to a full stop before switching directions. Quick changes in polarity at high speeds can lead to damage to the circuit, especially if it's done often. Another important item to mention is that some large DC motors are fitted with brushes that have a beveled edge. When the rotor spins in one direction, the brushes smoothly drag across the surface. However, when the rotor spins in the other directions, the brushes are pushed across the commutator sections, causing more friction. This friction can more quickly wear down the carbon brushes, or worse, it can cause damage to the commentator sections that are not replaceable. Make sure you read over your motor's data sheet to ensure you're running your motor in nominal circumstances and completing important maintenance tasks. So, can you change the direction of your DC motor? You sure can by following the steps we've covered today. If you have anything to add, if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestion for another topic for me to cover, leave me a comment below. Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video, how to check brushes on a DC motor. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, your source for industrial motors, gear reducers, controllers, and accessories across Canada. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.